Hello, this is Jim Reyesen, and today you are watching how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported system. Basically, how to install Windows 11 without having the required hardware. The easy way. Indeed, there is an easy way, and I'm going to show you how to do that right away. Gmodism, total nerdry channel. However, you should know that if you upgrade to Windows 11, even though you don't have the required hardware, you might get into some problems later on. Like Microsoft might stop giving you security updates. Now, this is very unlikely, but it can happen. So keep that in mind. Why it's unlikely is that Windows 11 has not been picked up at the rate that Microsoft would have wanted to. Um, and to let people upgrade that can't really meet the system requirements and then making those systems unsecure would be very bad for Windows 11's reputation. So probably they will continue to do it, uh, giving you security updates, but they have warned that they might stop giving um, security updates. So it's basically a low-key threat or something, but just so you know. And if you get into some trouble with your computer, it stopped working and stuffing like that, if this problem was caused by Windows 11, um, your manufacturer of your computer might not be liable to cover the warranty um, if the Microsoft 11 was, uh, Windows 11 was responsible for the damage if your computer didn't re meet the system requirements. So that's also one thing to keep in mind. So basically, if you install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, you are taking the responsibility if uh, stuff doesn't work or that you don't get any security or updates anymore. So that's on you. But without further ado, let's get into do it. All right, so we will begin with downloading Windows 11 support assistant or install assistant and just uh, run it and you can see it checks the device and we don't meet the minimum system requirements to install Windows 11 as expected. To fix this, we're going to hold Windows key and click R and write in regedit. Registry editor will now pop up. In the description, copy this text uh, here with control C and then you just paste it in here to get to the correct search path in the registry. Inside here, uh, you will just copy the other little text there, Ctrl C, and then you will right click and get new. And then we're gonna select D word 32 bit value and we'll paste in that text here. Then we'll click enter to uh, save it and click enter again to get up this little editor and we can change the value data to one and click OK. This information is taken directly from Microsoft.com, but I pasted it into the description for conveniency. Now there is a little bit of a problem with the language you're using because my region as in setting is United States, but this is actually not the proper version <clears throat> that I need to install for it to work. And you can see when I try to install it, it will tell me that um, I can't keep my files and apps as I want to because I'm actually not using a Windows uh, English version, uh, even though it might seem so and it says so in the settings. To find out your actual version of Windows, you just run system information and you look or scroll down here until you see locale. And it says Sweden, because when I bought this computer, it was installed in Swedish and it has been, you know, uh, installed with uh, Windows 11 Swedish version. So uh, when you go in here to select download ISO image, you expand this, click download, and uh, then it, uh, well, you can scroll down again, and then you can see select a product language. And inside here, I need to select Swedish for it to work. And there we go, and just confirm, and then you can download this little pack. So uh, for this computer, I'm sorry, the install process uh, will look like Swedish, even though my uh, system language is English. And if I don't do it, it won't work. So that's basically uh, the limits. 
And here um, I've started the file, the ISO file we downloaded so that we can double click on the setup XE. And here we get install Windows 11. And you want to download updates and drivers. Um, some people say you shouldn't, but you definitely should if you want it to be working. And it's gonna search for some updates and get them for you. And uh, it will take a little bit of time. It will restart the install program and it will, you know, then it will control the computer and you just bypass that control. And then you'll need to look through the license and accept it. And then it uh, gets you the latest updates and security patches and stuff like that. And it checks if the installation can begin. And it will take several minutes and now you need to accept what we talked about before that uh, Windows uh, Microsoft isn't uh, liable for any damages that installing Windows 11 might cause onto your computer. So you'll just need to click accept. Now it will check if you have enough disk space and if you don't you need to remove some files and I had enough disk space so that's great. And I can now click install and here we are. It has begun with uh, installing Windows 11 and uh, this probably takes half an hour or something like that depends a little bit on your internet connection as well as your hard drive speed or SSD and there we go it's uh, soon done and even more done very nice and here we get it it's working with updates don't shut down your computer it says and uh, here we go very nice, we can now sign into this little computer and I just write in my uh, previous local password and just click enter and fantastic. Seems to be working absolutely fine and then you get this uh, preparing things for you. This might take a few minutes and it does. Please keep your PC plugged in, don't turn off your PC and uh, you know, just wait that out and you'll get through there right in a little moment. Here we are inside Windows 11, very fantastic, seems to be working fine, a lot of more Windows 11 tutorials will come. Alright and there we have it, Windows 11 on unsupported hardware works like a charm and this is the easy way to do it so you don't have to bother with Frankensteining an installer together. That's another way you can do it and I will put a link in the description if this for some weird reason didn't work for you, but it should work. So in any case, hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, I'll see you next time. This is your host, Jim Odessum, begging you to like and subscribe, signing out.